Evaluating the ulnar nerve, we're going to start with the patient. Same position, side lying. I'm going to, I'm going to extend the elbow. I'm going to find the cubital fossa, the cubital tunnel, and I'm looking for two bony landmarks. My two bony, lam two bony landmarks are medial epicondyle, which is on the left, the olecranon, which is on the right. And this circumferential structure right in the middle, this is the ulnar nerve. Okay, we have a muscle here. This could be epitrochlaris, or it could be a medial um, medial head of the triceps. Un, unsure right now. Let's get into some dynamics, and maybe we'll see. So we want to evaluate this dynamically. Okay, is it, um, number one, is what are the symptoms like? What's their history? Is there, you know, that the, the typical mononeuropathy pattern is the neural signs into the 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 ring and the pinky finger um tenderness in the um in the cubital tunnel as well as um as well as possibly some audible or palpable snapping that the patient can reproduce so we can often find that with ultrasound question here mm -hmm. katie uh is asking is there a normal size of the ulnar nerve like Ooh. when we do the medial yeah. nerve we know there's cutoffs and yeah. values. And I know there's literature out there for the I think it's, I think it's eight, to, eight to nine millimeters squared. So, Katie, did you hear that? About eight to nine, but let's go ahead and we're going to get you that information. Fact, so, fact check me. I, I believe it's eight to nine millimeters squared. I think it, it's an area. I think it's worth a Google. No. All right. So, dynamically, because the subluxation and dislocation patterns are a dynamic thing, um, it happens when you flex the elbow. Um, I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really focus on the medial epicondyle because that's where it's gonna snap over. So I'm gonna focus my transducer on the medial epicondyle. I'm gonna flex the elbow, and you see that nerve. Am I running into the pillow? We're good. Okay, you see the potential for compression here of the nerve uh, against the medial head of the triceps there, but it's not subluxing or dislocating. It's staying in the groove. It has a nice stable ligament structure right over the top which is ooh, I've got a good ligament there. That's our ligament.